I'd live in a painting for a day, <laughs> but people I'll go crazy. All the melting clocks of Dali, and yeah. I'll be like, what time is it? A psychologist would just say that because it's your small, because you're small, and you know how dictators are always short. <laughs> so that's me. But it's about it's connected to the whole dreaming of something bigger. So when you say drawings, because people are like. Drawing lang yan eh. Paper and pencil lang yan eh. I'm like, talaga ha, talaga ha. I did one for the hallway of CCP. It was 85 feet long. I did one for Korea, which is roughly the same size, but much higher. You know, people think it's very easy, like this kind of life. Like art, oh, you just make drawings. No, no, it's not. It's every day you have to get up. Draw. Every day you have to get up and work. Every day you have to get up and make something that was better than what you made yesterday. Art, pole dancing, all these things that require a lot of focus and concentration and imagination. It, it will drive you crazy. It will. So you just have to think of ways to cope with going crazy. Years of depression and whatever. But you know, you just have to get up and work. That's the only thing you can do to counteract that. Get up, do something. You know, if you just lie down in your bed and say, Oh my God, I'm so depressed. I'm feeling dark. The world is dark. Whatever. That's not gonna work. You have to go out and work. If this is work. This is not some fairy kind of dream or something. It's work. Um, I wake up in the morning. I draw. I draw. I draw, and then I come here to teach class, and then I poll, and then I go home and I draw again. And sitting down for eight hours drawing on your own by yourself, it's not easy. Yeah, but you can't sustain that for long periods of time. So you need those crazy breaks. Magreets the lovers. Wow. I wish I had made this. I wish I had thought of it. Because it's so sexy, but so creepy at the same time. It's just me. <laughs> Everything I started out doing as a hobby, and then somehow people started paying me for it. And I was like, hey, cool. No, no. And then, of course, that would make me strive to become a better um, artist, a better pole dancer, a better pole teacher. You have to get better at what you do. You can't just say, oh, I'm good now, and then that's fine. No, you have to. That's why I think of it as work. Because you're constantly trying to improve something. I don't think of it as work now. It's something very, like, drudgery. Like, ugh, I don't want to do this. I get up every day and I want to do what I'm doing. It's happy, but it's still work. Which means you have to put in time and effort.